Hello, I'm the Bowmeister, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coffee. And last time we defeated Grandpa and cleared Area 1. And we should probably do something real quick. We go to Grandpa's shop. You're off to a great start. Yes, I won a few battles and accumulated monster points. True, I've gathered a bunch of new monsters for you. Hmm, before I forget, I have to tell you that the monsters you can get from me won't always be the same. I recommend examining the monsters closely. Okay, so which monster should I get? What's the fun in telling you everything? Check them out for yourself! <laughs> oh, one more thing. If you have monsters you no longer need, you can exchange them for monster points. Select Cell from the menu. And select the monsters you no longer need. Ah, I see. What would you like to do? But yeah, if we need to sell any monsters, so like if we have a... Like for... Oh, I can't sell anymore because I don't have any... Oh, you can only sell them from stock, for one. But now we've got such monsters like the Time Wizard! Which I would go with that. Go in bed, Lucky Trinket, get in, Feed Reflection number two, Prism in, get Karibo. There's the left leg of the Brin one. I will add it to my collection. Needle Ball, Feral Imp, Summon Skull. I'll get added. Flame Viper, Fire Grass, Fire Reapers. Mechanical Snail, Flame Manipulator. There's the Psychic Kappa, a White Dolphin, Penguin Soldier. There's the Great White. There's Hanawa, Larvis, Rock Ogre Grotto number one, Anthrosaurus. There's the Droll Bird, Kurama. I'm gonna pick up the Baby Dragon. There's the Wicked Dragon under the Ursat's head. The Petite Moth, there's a Needle Worm. More Man Eaters. Sonic Maids. A Kumotoko. Spike Snails. A Skill Scorpion. Kaminari Kozu. Gear Golden the Moon Fortress. So go and buy them for right now. What would you like to do? We'll back out. And we'll go ahead and replace some of the pieces that we can. Remember, we lost a bunch of pieces the last time against Grandpa. But, like, I don't need two of them. Nor do I need another Fire Reaper. Or a steel scorpion, for that matter. Or even a Karibo. You know, just trying to, try to even even balance them out a little bit, so maybe, just maybe, I can get some more. Oh, I don't need a mod another Petite Moth, too, for that matter. I'll keep it for now, because I think I'm almost... Grab Gear Golem. Okay, I've added in all the new ones. Let's go to area two. Now, if I remember right, areas two, three, and four, I can battle whoever, I think. Pretty sure I can battle whoever. I'm just going to literally go with whoever is first in line and just battle them from there. Yep, you can see the arrows. Alrighty, I can go with whoever to fight whoever. But we're gonna start with Weevil in the Ancient Forest of Origin. In Ancient Aged Forest, the key is to use the unpredictable weather to your advantage in battle. Alright, so here's the map. Landform. On the ground, it's 20. 
In the water, it's 25. This is one of the maps that changes between light and dark. I like that the map changes between dark and light. So let's go against Weevil. get the word in uh if you've watched the anime you know that weevil's the one who throws exodia into the water didn't think i would win that one <clears throat> we'll take it first attack order so we can also see what weevil is planning So it's like he's got five to start with. It's like monsters for the sortie. Oops. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, map. Keep hitting the wrong one. So he's got himself a shovel crusher, a larva moth, cockroach knight, heat moth, and a root water. They're gonna start planning a little bit of. They're gonna start planning a little ahead with in terms of planning for. Yeah, you know, so like for example, I'm not sure what Shovel Crusher is really gonna do for him, but Root Water is gonna help take out any fire types. Uh, hang on, I want to check something real quick. I have a guide up. Can't remember it's two or three that I need for Exodia. Level two, so I don't necessarily need the right leg anymore. Left leg's three and one. Right arm is two and two. Take both of them, try to level them up. I'm gonna take the Fire Reaper. Take the baby dragon. And Gear Golem is two and two. Summon Skull is two and two. Nope. nope. Draw Bird is four and one. I think I will take. I think Summon Skull has the disadvantage of only, yeah, only 23 AP. It costs 103 to move. So he's not super, but he's a he's a Yugi staple, so I'm not gonna complain. Put you right there, random place, and again. I was only able to love, or only able to set six monsters, but let's go. Battle start. Player turn. Round one. It's time to start. And you can see our AP. Our AP starts at 216 now since we leveled up. Which will help because we don't have a whole lot of. And I think it's oh, 450, yeah. Baby Dragon certainly helps. 
So we'll hatch and heal. 397. We won't get 450, but we'll come pretty darn close. Alright, we will. <laughs> Having fun yet? Let's see what you start out with. Start out with the cockroach knight. Interesting. It's the cockroach knight and the. I think that's the larva moth. Here I go. Alright, so we're gonna start out by 7 and 7 skull. 430, that's not terrible. You are 2 and 1? I live with some of those. Baby Dragon is like three and one, but I'm gonna try and keep Baby Dragon back if I can. Just because there are three. Uh, wood types, and they're good against the wind. Oh, you didn't move. Alright, so let's get these guys moved out. Keep you out of the water and I think we'll be fine. Ew. Try to keep some of the guys nearby for right now. Oops, that's a tree. Oops. Did I move everything? I moved everyone, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Hang on, I just want to see where he goes. Sorry, I heard me taking a drink, so he's on that. He's on. He's hatched his other two. And a reminder that I want to try and get my long range. Strikers out as far as I possibly can get them. One, two. Okay. Assuming he moves forward. Big dragon, hang back for right now. one towards the tree and we'll wait for right now definitely playing a super big game of chess with Weeble here just because I want to see where yeah there it goes I wanted to see where Weeble went to start with now the map's going to change it looks like Believe the moon comes out. Yep. I said the board changes between dark and light. The fireflies come out, so the board gains light. I believe a light element. So they get back in control here. Yep. The map is now gaining a bunch of light element. One. Okay. Well, let's start here by let's turn. By absolutely moving the cockroach knight. Or moving Petite Moth into range of the cockroach knight.
That gets rid of the cockroach tonight. It's one down. That's not going to help you. That's actually one of your. The only other one I'm worried about is the shovel crusher. Like, I'm not. Water 88. I don't want to just leave you undefended, though. I'm gonna move you up. Keep you there, and then move Baby Dragon. We'll move Baby Dragon up one. Let's see just how much my strategy will backfire against Weevil. This wasn't supposed to happen. Oof. Definitely does big hurt. I wasn't concentrating. Yep, yeah, gonna attack the pe Petite Moth. Lose out the ability to get experience for the Petite Moth. You're gonna move three and two, which means you're gonna try to take on Fire Reaper. Okay, does some damage, does some damage. Nothing we can't handle, though. That was a. All right, so now that we lost Petite Moth, I'll use all my skills until the very end of the duel. We're first going to toss the worm here. Well, let's see what else do I have here. Let's do this to start with. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah, I skipped that, but all I said is that we're gonna that we're starting to bug him. We take out the Shovel Crusher. That's one of two, and that's the one I've been worried about the most. And I do want to take out you. Even though I know your next turn you're going to take out the Fire Reaper. You say so. Only one left to move is Baby Dragon. One, two. Okay. There's Baby Dragon to the right. Like I said, most likely I will probably lose Fire Reaper at this turn, but he's only got two pieces left, so I'm not... Oh no, he's going after the... Going after an Exodia piece. I thought he'd go after the... The Reaper. If that's all the damage you can deal, then my monster will not fall. Oh, that's it. Two hit combo there. I lose one of the legs to the exploding, which means I won't get them next battle. But actually, I will. There's a tur there's a secret I keep forgetting about. Uh, that secret is that if you go into the into the the current fight you're on, surrender, you can get all the pieces back you need for the next battle. And I'm gonna start doing that in between episodes. 
Just so I have... You know, like, so I can get the Keep Moth back. So I can try and level it up. Starting to bug him. There we go. Don't damage. Not bad, alright. Back you up to take do some damage. And then move you up, baby dragon. You are gonna finish off! The root water should be. Yep. This will finish you. Bye bye, root water. And goodbye, Weevil. <laughs> Excuse me. No! How could I lose? Ha! A duel is never over until the very end. And we got 32 experience points for Baby Dragon. It's a good start. Four hundred and eighty MP, that's a great, great chunk. Nobody leveled up. Um and I'll take both Shell Crush Crusher and Cockroach Knight. <coughs> Alright, so Weevil is down. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, like I said, I'm gonna go into the, go into another fight. Get my get my team back essentially, and then come back and we'll start against that foe. Excuse me, next time. But until then, I am the Fallmeister, and as always, I've been obediently yours. <laughs>